What is going on guys, Apple Fox here, and for some reason, the iOS 10.3 or just the beta of iOS 10.3 has been delayed and what it means is that we still don't have the dark mode or the theater mode we should have seen with the release of new iOS. I still hope to see it in the future, but for now, I have something that could possibly make it easier for you to use your phone at night. So a lot of people browse web in the night. It doesn't matter what you're doing, but most of the web pages have white background. This applies on many websites, not all of course, but most of the websites you visit are white, and that's the thing that affects your eyes. This is what we want to avoid, and the dark mode would do that, but there is no dark mode at this point of time. Meaning we cannot do anything with it, but that's not really true. In this video, I just wanted to show you a way to browse the web without the bright light affecting your eyes. So we have to open up the App Store and search for Dark Night Browser and of course install it. It's free so you don't have to worry about that. So this app is basically a fully working web browser with one difference that it makes everything look dark, so there's not much of a bright light. For example, if you just go to Google, you may see that it doesn't look the way you are used to. The Google logo looks normal, but the background is black instead of white. And this is what this browser tries to do on every website you visit. But the truth is that it does not always look how you would expect. As you can see, if I just search for something in Google and open up the web page like CNN, you can already see that it's white again. That basically proves that it doesn't work that well all the time, but of course it's just a temporary solution. At least we hope so. But if you want to read some articles online, then a much better idea is to use Safari instead, but in order to make it dark, just go to the reader mode and choose it to be dark. And it is of course much more comfortable to use, and in the end, it doesn't affect your eyes at all. You can use the web browser just for some basic task in the night when you need to find something online or whatever it is. Anyways, I like that developers of the app try to make it similar to Safari. Just take a look at the animation when switching through the tabs. I feel like I'm in Safari, honestly. So some pages are able to be black, like the BBC for example has no problem with it, or the browser has no problem with this page. Anyways, it is working on some pages and some other pages do not work. Another thing I notice is when loading some pages, at first it appears to be white, but after a second it turns black. So for example, if you type in something to Google and search for it, then it is going to happen. It may not appear to be a problem, but in dark environment, even the second when the white screen goes on could be really annoying. So this is the end of today's video, thank you for watching, as we're waiting for what will happen with iOS 10.3. Hopefully you liked my video, and remember that this shouldn't be a permanent solution of this problem. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and see you next time. Peace.